Hi everyone. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I want to take an opportunity to address a bunch of questions I've been getting and also to give an update on the channel and some uh, future announcements. So first of all, I want to thank each and every one of you who have followed us this far, who have subscribed, who have shared. We just passed 10,000 subscribers and that's due to you guys. So thank you so much for your energy and your commitment and your contribution to the channel. I also want to say that I get comments all the time from people who come up to me and say, wow, your community is really, really high quality. Let's face it, YouTube is not known for civil conversations. You look at a bunch of channels and the comments are full of trolls and they're negative and there's battling. You guys have been awesome. Thank you guys for being this quality audience. You help this channel grow. You inspire us to do more with it. And on that note, I want to address the most common question I get is, can you cover XYZ art? Now we've been doing some of the history of and origin of uh, video series, which are getting great feedback. And honestly, they're a lot of fun to make because that gives us the opportunity to research other arts and learn things I never knew about or I knew about in some form, but you know, I expand on it and understand it better. So that's a great experience to work on. Unfortunately, they take a lot of work, so we can't crank them out as often as we would like to, at least not at this point. As the channel grows, we start getting bigger, more self-sufficient, and we can start covering production costs. We can definitely do more of those. But we definitely want to start implementing a lot more art-based content. While we work, and we do have more history of uh, projects in the works, but while we're working on those, we're going to start peppering in you know, other arts here and there, expanding. So we might, we might like look at Shorn Ru, for example, and break down a technique, or go to Wing Chun and break down a technique. Try to get more of a, a wider net cast so we can start to collectively build these series. And we're gonna make them into series. So we're gonna actually establish a karate series. We're gonna establish a kung fu, uh, a Korean arts, grappling, tempo. So we're gonna start adding to them. So as this channel grows, we're gonna just add each one to the series and the playlist. And also on that note too is uh, we've had viewer contributions, you know, with Kyokushin. We had one of our viewers help us with the outlining and scripting for that, as well as one of the projects we're working on right now, we have another viewer helping with us. So if you guys have an art that you really wanna see and you wanna contribute, please by all means feel free to put out together outlines or any information relative to your art that you think that you would wanna see on the show. We're happily going to take a look at it and work it in if we can. And this includes Chinese and Indian arts. I know we've gotten a lot of requests for that. It's just an area we're not as familiar with as the Japanese arts, but we're working on that and we're definitely going to include that. So again, please submit your requests so that we can and point us to references. If there's a specific art that you want us to cover, point us to a few references, send us an outline, anything like that, and we'll put it to use. Another question I get is sometimes people ask me if I would do Kempo drills or Kempo lessons as episodes. Uh, the quick answer is not for episodes because I don't want this channel just to be all about Kempo. It's just, it's, this is not necessarily a how-to tutorial, but rather more of a global discussion group. There are Kempo topics and there will be more Kempo topics, but I don't want to limit it to just lessons on one art. There's a ton of channels out there that do that. I want to keep it, you know, I want to do a wide variety of topics. However, that being said, uh, we are in discussions and talking about doing Kempo lessons or drills and things like that as a potential Patreon exclusive or a video workshop for purchase or even both. So why don't you guys tell me what you think, what you want, which would you prefer? Uh, if you guys want it, we'll work it in there. I guess inspiring offensive movement wise is I like the back fist. I like the quick snapping back fist. It's a good setup. You know, you, you, if you time it right, you can, you, especially if you get to jump on the opponent, it's great, it's a great setup. You can follow through. But as far as my favorite offensive move, honestly is, I like to advance and jam, like I try to read them. So if they're in a position where I look like they might kick or I'm trying to anticipate what they might do, I like to advance in and either jam a kick or block off their leg, check their leg, check their front hand. My goal is to take away their, at least one or two of their weapons right off the bat and then follow through with something else. And so it's kind of my, so to answer the question, my favorite offensive move in sparring is a quick explosive attack in to cancel out some of their weapons and follow through with a counter. My answer to one person in particular was, first of all, to establish what do you mean by being bullied? Is this somebody who's just calling you names? 
or, or is this something really harming you, hurting you? Because there's a big difference. If it's just something more psychological and calling you names, you don't want to go learn an art to go and attack them with violence. That's, that's really not appropriate. But if you are in danger and being threatened, then yeah, that's a very real concern. So first of all, I want to start off by saying there's no single right answer because there's a lot of options here. But the key word here is quick. Now, there's a lot of arts that I love. And there's a lot of arts that I want to train in just because they're interesting. I think they could enhance what I've already learned. Maybe there's particular maneuvers I want to learn or something I want to sharpen. So you've got a lot of karate systems and kung fu systems that are great arts, but they take time and commitment to be good at it. You can't expect to go to a karate class and after a month be, be prepared to totally take anyone on. That's just not realistic. It takes time, it takes effort. A lot of systems like karate systems, especially Kyokushin, they're very power based. So a smaller person might have a harder time or take longer to become efficient with that. If it's a person who's of smaller stature and you're getting picked on and you need to learn defense quickly, honestly, you're gonna want a couple different things. Speed is gonna be your, your friend. So look for an art that's gonna teach quick footwork, quick handwork. Something like boxing will be excellent for that. Something like Muay Thai, we even get you some kicks in there and you get your conditioning on it. You look at a lot of MMA fighters, a lot of them are small, but they are deadly. So you're gonna learn fast footwork and fast hand drills and also you're gonna want some sort of grappling in there as well because there's a good chance, you know, if you're getting into fights frequently, it's gonna to go to the ground. You don't wanna to go to the ground immediately as, as a first response, but you wanna be able to handle yourself if it does, especially if you're fighting a big guy. That's a good chance you guys are gonna go down. In the context of, I need to learn defense quickly, you and I'm smaller, you want something that's gonna be sparring and fight-based focus, at least right off the bat. So I do recommend finding an MMA gym that teaches a striking art and grappling art, whether that be boxing or Muay Thai or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Judo, get, get that mix in there. And because you're gonna constantly, constantly, constantly stress test and get your hands on an opponent and you're gonna work it out. As far as a self-defense based art, you're gonna be able to build it up quickly. Now, of course, I would definitely recommend even later adding in other arts if you would like to learn other arts. There, there are good kung fu and karate systems as well that can complement. So again, it comes down to your, your basic need and your reason for it, but there's a lot of options. So I would definitely look around. And best thing I always say is go try out a school. Go take a look. You'll know if it's right for you. You'll, you'll feel that click going, oh, okay, this is what I need, or it's not. Take a look around for that. And finally, I've had some people ask about, will I be collaborating with any other channels? And the answer is, I would absolutely love to. You know, that's all part of the growth. The bigger we get, the more opportunities we're gonna have. We do have some collaborations in the work right now, and we're actually excited to bring that to you. It's, it's kind of new territory for us, and it's actually a sign that our community is growing. So as far as collaborations go, that's absolutely a focus, something we wanna work on, and build a network with other channels. The reason we made Art of One Dojo is that we want an open online forum. This isn't just a how-to channel. This isn't just a how this technique works, and it's not a why this system sucks. This is an open, global community. We want your input, we want your feedback, we want you to share. This is a classroom for everyone. So we love to take all viewpoints into consideration, especially working with other channels because that shows us other perspectives. We want everybody to share. We wanna take all these arts and bring it together into an art of one people so that we can focus and build a dojo for all. Thank you all so much for your support. Please continue to share this channel. Please share our videos, like, subscribe. We have a Patreon set up. We're, we're rolling out some shirts and other merchandise. Anything to support the channel grows us bigger, lets us do a whole lot more, and then we become even stronger and an even bigger community. So thank you for your efforts, and thank you for joining the dojo.